of this Monday morning. Many of those Wall Street protesters are young people who say they have no opportunities to make it. Here's the answer to them. Michael Weymouth. He started his own tech consulting business. He is 14 years old and he joins us right here in New York City. Michael, welcome to the program. Well, thank you. Okay, first of all, what kind of a business is it? What do you do? Uh, it's mostly technology consulting. Um, we basically fix computers or really instruction or setup of such devices. So somebody comes to you with one of these, like a desktop here or a laptop, something yeah. like that. It doesn't work right, slow speed, doesn't work. They just physically deliver it to you and you fix, correct? Yes. How many employees you got? Two. So that's three people work on this company? Yes. Did you start it from scratch? Yep. Is it your idea? Yep. Have you been fixing things since the age of what? Um, I would say since the age of 10, so not really a long time. But Do you actually take a screwdriver out, take the back off and fix things physically, or is it a code problem that you fix with the software? Um, I do both, but I'm more, I prefer to work on the hardware side because it's one of those things where you see it and you, can, you know how it's supposed to work, and it's not really something most people will mess with. On, where on the software side, people can delete essential files, and then you don't know what to do with that. So. Wh whose idea was this? The business, I say. Mine. Yours? Yeah. Uh, you started doing this for friends, and then you found you could make some money out of it? Yeah, it, kinda, it started off where I was, when I, whenever I was over at somebody's house, I would be, oh, can you take a look at this? But then it really got serious when people started inviting me over just to fix things. So that's when I realized. Forgive me for asking a very personal question here, but right. uh, are you making money? Yes. Serious money? F serious to me. If I brought you one of these here desktop laptop things and I said, hey, this thing's slow, fix it, <laughs> how much do you charge? Um, I would probably charge about $50 for such a service. $50 for such a service? Okay. How much do you pay your employees per hour? Um, it's really more of a percentage. My um, my PR employee is, um, he gets 15% of all uh, profits that result from any PR deals he cuts or ads he creates. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What kind of PR deals are you cutting, Michael? Um, he, he's new, so it's been um, just the Newsday deal so far. Newsday. That got us in the paper, yeah. Okay, so to get you in the paper, you're paying him a proportion of the profits of the company? Yes. Now, what Not about a proportion of the company itself, but what? what we, uh, okay. it's not an ownership interest. You seem it? to have your head screwed on pretty well. I gotta say, I, that's the universal <laughs> opinion around here. Ownership interest, my goodness. I'm just curious about education. Is there anything yeah. in school that, that you took that prepared you for this, or is this all, uh, all that you're doing now is knowledge that you've picked up on the side, outside of school? So far, all, uh, all that I've learned from school is computer programming in my compu first period computer programming class. But other than that, it's all been stuff that I've learned by myself. Well, may I ask what your dad does? Um, he's a um, vice president of Related Management Corporation. Okay. Now, what do you think of the Occupy Wall Street people? I agree that there's an inequality of wealth, but the people who have the wealth worked hard to get it. It's not that they just gained it by themselves. Most of them. I mean, there are some that inherited wealth, but not all of them. And if they want jobs, they're, block, they're trying to block the functions of the company. So that's really counterintuitive to getting a job. You don't... Counterintuitive, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, okay. I, I, so you don't sound like a 14-year-old, so I'm not going to treat don't. you like one. What motivates you? Is it money? I really just love technology. Everything to do with technology just excites me. Whenever somebody comes out with a new product, I'm one of the people who are online looking up every detail of it. So it's that, and the money doesn't hurt. <laughs> what about a business itself? A lot of people are challenged just by building a business, by their relationships with their employees, with the people they do business with. Is, is that fun as well? It's not fun, but it's not Re it's is not it rewarding. It's, it yes, it's way. very rewarding. Beyond in the, just the cash that you're making. Yeah, because these these people that work for me are people who I've become friends with through the business. So, quick question: Do you see your future in business or maybe politics? Uh, definitely the business side. I, I don't want to get in politics. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Why not? Why? It's a dangerous field. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Michael Weymouth, that was terrific. And we wish you the very, very best of luck with the company. And the name of the company is? Tech Wizard. Tech Wizard. Yes. Incorporated? Uh, no, not formally. Subchapter S. Yes. Got it. All right, Michael Weymouth, you know what you're talking about, and we appreciate you being with us today. Thank you. Good luck, sir. Bye.